Hello, Monsters of Baron here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 6 of my Silostra campaign, where we're continuing to play silly buggers with the AI. <sighs> Never mind. Madam Silostra, dear fan. Look at this dick. I, I was so sure I'd be able to catch him, and he's just... Ugh, he goes in the only position he knows he can definitely get away from. The thing is, he's trapped anyway. I mean, he could potentially attack Caron Carl, but I don't fancy his chances. So he can run to Violet and die, or he can die from Solostra, but ultimately he can't get away. I think, anyway. Anyway, uh, someone suggested that I could literally just, like, abandon all my holdings and just go sailing. And uh, I could do that, I guess. To be honest, that might be... Is that the best choice? Is that the best choice for the vampires? Because to be honest, you don't make any money from your buildings, do you? I mean, l legitimately, you make fuck all. I guess you need you need a bit for the recruitment. But on the other hand, if, if you research these guys, then effectively you can have five five armies that are are hordes, so can recruit the themselves. Also, if you're in this... So, do we actually have any recruiting buildings? This is what I want to know. Gunnery mob. So, Violet. The flagship expansion. What? We don't have a flagship expansion start. What the fuck does that mean? Flagship expansion start. Well, I guess because we're... Okay, if you go into that, global... So we don't... Because what I'm confused about is why we have a radius here. And I was like, well, maybe... Maybe... Also, why are we encamped? Why are we encamped? This has my approval. Oh, because we can, we, can, we can encamp anytime we like. It doesn't cost any movement. Please. Right, that's why. Uh, good, because we were building, weren't we? We were building a thing. I was building a thing, and then I stopped building. Oh, no, I'm already building the thing. It's fine. It doesn't lose it. Good. Okay. Well, good. Started this really well. Strong start to the episode, I think. Anyway, so um, we've got this radius, but I don't have a fucking clue what it means. Why do we have a radius? What does this do? Because we've got this building, but it doesn't seem to, like, unlock the recruitment for other armies, so... Listen. Duh. Blah, blah. Who knows? Oh, never mind. Uh, end turn. End turn. We'll see if we can uh, Samoza. I, I'm going to get my hands to Samoza. I'm going to wring his fucking neck. Yeah, so because basically he couldn't do anything, he's decided to just sit there. Which is fine by me. Because I can bring Vilas up behind him. Hello. Yes. Now you're going to run, but you won't, really, you, you won't be able to run far enough. Look at this. Oh dear. 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 I mean, this battle should be fairly straightforward. Got kind of a sort of a, a skirmish line, I guess, to keep them back. And then the guns behind. But already you can just see how much... Sh the sheer amount of damage we can put out is... Is pretty terrifying. And then we've got, you know, Richard. Who is a melee boss. Yeah, where do you think you're going? Charging? Are you going to try and charge? Are you? Let's see how that goes. Oh, not well. Slamming into the old... Uh, the bloody Reavers, the deck guards. And getting absolutely destroyed. I mean, if this is Sigvold's best, I'm not impressed. Get some rotting Prometheans into the mix. They've managed to knock out the enemy right flank. It's just their left flank. Oh, and some trolls in the center over here. Who are... Taking incredible damage. Just because they're a little bit... Oh, God. They all die at the same time. Wow. 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 Oh, just one guy. One guy. No, he dies. Nope. He's dead. Well. It's unfortunate. 
Meanwhile, just the forces in the trees still hanging on, but only barely. I guess the trees give them a little bit of cover, and the fact they're fighting Solostra also, again, a little bit of cover. But hitting them with Fog of the Damned means they have no melee attack. Obviously, being being assaulted by a giant Sebastian is going to be quite upsetting. Just the Chaos Spawn left to deal with, I think. Oh, and the enemy general, who apparently... Apparently does not want... Oh, no, he's, he's terrified. I'm not surprised that there's bombs going off. There's skulls everywhere. There's a giant skull that's laughing at him. There's a fog. And obviously fog. Fog and undead pirates. Go together like chalk and cheese. If the cheese was hiding in the chalk and would come out of the chalk to cut your head off. Which could happen, I guess. Maybe. The important thing is we won the battle. Right. That's you dead. Oh, money. Yes. I would like money. Okay. Oh, bonus experience for Daisy. You know, Daisy. You know, Daisy. Right, Violet, good job. Bit of experience for you. Slostra is setting sail once again. Now, what do I want to give you? Emerging terror is... I mean, the upkeep reduction for bloated corpses is fine. They're not exactly expensive. Um... Mm, mm. Tell you what, let's go vast ye. And then we can get this one, which gives our shooty boys more missile attack. Which can only be a good thing, because the more shooty they are, the better they are. That's how it works. Okay, do we want to upgrade this? I think we do. Did we upgrade? Oh, wait, can we get... Can we... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, we can. Right, we want a vampire. Intelligence is fine. Cunning is probably better. Captain on deck. I need an audience. Penny, we're getting you. And I need to get rid of one of these guys. But there's no point doing that at the moment because we can't put her in the army anyway. So no point worrying about that just yet. Boost income. Will that be useful? Hmm. Well... Not really. It's not really worth the effort, in my opinion. Uh, you have... I mean, I guess missile strength is... is a reasonable one. So let's get that. Now, where's Daisy? There you are. Oh, not you. That one. There we go. Indeed. Right, let's make... let's make that cheaper. And then... Four... Five thousand? Jesus Christ, we can only just barely afford it. All right, we'll stick one in there. And then we can get the, the Picaroon's hideout and uh, make some more cash. Because, I mean, we're making two, two... That's actually a bit less. Did something happen? So 1,666 there. Or is it more than we had previously? Let's not worry about that. Numbers. What are they? What do they want? How do we get rid of them? Well, Harganeth is dead. That is unfortunate. But not wholly unexpected. Okay, let's give them a little bit of their own fucking medicine. We can't quite reach them. Never mind. We can encamp. That will save. That will save our poor little, poor little boys from being cold. Penny, I was going to put you in this army, wasn't I? And then I completely forgot. Never mind. What we'll do is bring you over here. I mean, the only reason you're here is invocation of the heck. That's literally the only reason. Literally the only reason you exist. Um, but we want to save our pennies so that we can put a Picaroon's hideout in here. Meanwhile, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer true. Where are you going? I think you can... Tell you what, go over this way. 
because I'm fairly sure that there's this one over here. I think it's this one, which is quite rich, I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, Bordelow, it, well, just as well we didn't put a Picaroon's hideout in Bordelow because it's currently uh, not looking so hot. The Empire's looking, looking okay, though, which is good. Although, Bretonia itself is looking a little bit on the rough side. Although, they may be clawing it back. But Ulf 1 is also having a little bit of trouble, which is good. Because I hate them elves. Anything else we can do here? Uh, I want to upgrade our ports. No, we're saving money, aren't we? That's what we're doing. We're saving money. Remember, don't spend all the money. Monsters are bound. Remember, save them. Get the Picaroon's hideout. Get more money. Get the upkeep. Not upkeep, the income. That's the words. Okay, Silostra. You grab that. There's no one here. Literally no one here. I do like the bombs, but they are very situational. So we'll get rid of you. Penny's in there. And we now have... A little... A little point on the coast, which I'm hoping will work out for us. I'm going to keep Violet around this area, because that's a fairly sort of safe location. On the other hand, we can always go and grab some of these bits. That may give us some more money. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not so hot. Hey, mate. You are at war with the dwarfs. What way? So, maybe you'll be chill. Maybe you'll be cool. Like, why would you want another enemy, right? Why? 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 Why would you want another enemy? You wouldn't want another enemy. It'd be insane. Madness. Um, at least we do have defenses, so... Should be... Should... I spent the money again. What did I spend money? I spent money on this. We don't quite have the ink. Did I spend money on anything else? I don't think so. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I mean, this will give us a little bit of income. It's not amazing. I, I don't really understand the cooldown on on the Undercity and stuff. Like, I guess I just don't want you hopping. But the, the, the cost is, is such that I don't think you could hop from, from city to city just setting up Picaroon's Hide. I mean, maybe it would steamroll eventually. But ultimately... It feels like one of those things they just haven't really touched in Immortal Empires. And I feel like it's something that maybe they should just go, there's no point having the cap. I mean, ult I mean ultimately, your armies can set up um, hideouts, pirate goes, in settlements just by winning the battle, which usually isn't very hard. So it's not like there's a as a real it's just to stop your agent from going over the other side of the map, I guess, and slapping pirate codes and everything, but I don't really see the problem with that. Oh, what now? Violet. What's your problem, love? What is your problem? What's what's up? What's up? You're in, you're in troubles. What do you uh ambush and lightning strike? Right. I mean, you can't lightning strike, so you can ambush. You could ambush. Sing the songs of death. Indeed, we will. We will get right on that. But first, let's get the old. What do we make from this? Uh, Two hundred income. But we get more from that. So let's do that. Madam, if we can maybe hit the frozen city, it's a little bit dicey. Okay, there is an army there. Wow, you, you're really not... You're not putting up any kind of fight, are you? That's the fr Right, the frozen city doesn't have much of a garrison, so we should be able to bop that. And I reckon we can just sort of like... Can't, oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Malekith. Get your shit together, mate. Also, you but really I'm like me and you life. won't give me military access. The, literally, the... Join me. It's so hard to be his friend. It's so very hard. Uh, I do want to spend money here. I don't, I don't really care about these settlements. I'm beefing up these ones. These are the important ones. 
kind of tempted to say, let's get rid of that. And let's build defences here, just to be on the safe side. And defences here, probably a good idea as well. Because God knows when someone's going to come sailing across to wreck my day. Torn Rock. Okay, not making as much money as you could do. In fact, White Peak is making more. God, the AI does not know how to make money, does it? It doesn't have a fucking clue. Okay, if we take the throat... That's a sack value of 10k. Oof. Oof, big money prizes. Big money prizes. Are you guys... You guys want to come in on this? You want to help? No? Yes? No? Okay, no. That's fine. I guess we'll just have to do this the hard way. Oh, Sigvold. I will hunt you down. I will find every one of your hiding places. And I will torch the fucking lot of them. First things first. We're taking out the towers. Because I don't want them continually to just bop, bop me with fireballs. That's uh, Sebastian and little Sebastian there. I feel like these, these two little nodules here should be cannons, shouldn't they? Like, you should have, like, two... Like, put cannons there. I don't know what it is. It's just like a horn or something? I guess... Oh, it's like a big... Oh, it's some... Oh, shit. I never realised. It's a fucking mammoth... The people are going, of course it's a fucking mammoth. Have you never realised that? And I'm like, no, I haven't. Genuinely didn't realise it was a giant mammoth tusk. The giant mammoth skull. Well, that's one tower down. And the gate's down as well. So here's the plan. You might be thinking, you've got a mostly missile army. How are you going to take the city with that? Well, well, I'll tell you. First, we need to clear the walls off. And uh, being that we're inside the city, they will usually abandon the walls anyway. Then we bring in some units. The handguns. We send the handguns to climb up on top of the walls. Obviously, we need to take out this tower as well. And that's going to go down in a minute. It's very pretty. Or it was, anyway. Ah. Never mind. Right, so we're going to send the handguns to clamber up onto the walls while we're busy inside the city, murdering everything we can get our claws on. It's the Death Guard, the Mongols. Oh. Smashing their way through the defenders. Backed up by Richard and Solostra, of course, who's using her magic wherever she can. Summoning in rotting Prometheans. Eating Chaos Warriors. Can you imagine, like, you're, you're a Chaos Warrior and you go to, like, a Chaos Seer. Seer, tell me. Tell me my future. And she looks into the future and sees him being eaten by a giant crab and goes, Stay away from shellfish? Oh, am I allergic? In a sense. Yeah. Okay, we've now taken the wall. So this, this, this is where, this is where their defenses get turned against them. Because we can now use this lovely high ground to perch our handguns up on top of. And suddenly, we have a horrendous advantage. And you can see these Chaos Warriors are now attempt. I don't know if they're attempting to flee strategically or just because, you know, they realize they've lost the ground. But either way, the Depth Guard, I, I always find the Depth, like, they seem fine, but they always seem to take a lot of damage. They don't really have to defend. I mean, you know, they've got some physical resistance there. A little bit of that. They've got, the, I mean, the Frenzy's pretty good. They, they have good stats, but they just never seem to... I don't know. I don't know. They just never quite seem to, to, to do it, do they? They used to be quite overpowered, but uh, they're, just, they're just okay now. So now we have this high ground here. We can now just pepper the enemy with shots. And uh, to be honest, I'm not going to advance any further into the city. 
Or at least, I try not to. I forget that my Mongols are trying to murder these Chaos Warriors. And that's bad, because they are now out of position. And I need to pull them back out of this fight. Before they get killed. An exalted hero. He is uh, running away. I don't blame him. Now we have this fantastic position up here on top of the uh, on top of the wall. More and more zombies filtering up all the time. My Mongols are making a break to get back to the safety of our own lines. Um, they are not doing very well. I don't want to lose my Mongols. No! Oh shit! There's only one of them left. He's only got 311 hit points. Oh shit! One. No. Oh oh. We got to heal off. We got to heal off. We got invocation back. He's getting healed. He's getting healed. Get out of there. Run, you fools. Oh, look. Handstand. Whatever. The, I guess telling him to run probably isn't the right thing to say because obviously he has no legs. But just get the fuck out of there. He's, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's, he's almost safe. He's almost safe. We're moving the depth guard up to shield him and he's managed to get away. He is still quite sad. Uh, he's, down, he's minus six. If we can just... Don't die of sad. Oh, oh, what? Minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Come on. 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 Two. That's better. Okay. I think he's okay. I think he's going to be all right. And now my depth guard are chasing units. No, don't chase units, guys. Come back. Guys. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Stop chasing them. Stop ch That's it. Come back. Jesus Christ, these guys. Just set up a defensive position here. That's fine. And then basically they'll have to come to us. And anyone who wants to come to us is going to have a very bad time. So it looks like they're trying for another another charge. Which means heading straight into our gun line, which obviously a very bad idea. Oh, apps just a killing field. And they run straight into the depth guard who have charge reflect. <laughs> so that doesn't work out very well. There they go. It looks like the rest of the army's fleeing as well. Right. One of Sigvold's fortress is down. Two to go. May not have started this Sigvold fight. But I'm going to make him really wish he hadn't. Bring me my More money for me. Thank you very much, Siggers. Old Siggers. That's what we call him. Uh, do I don't really care about Missile Fire, so Blade Shield. You are a scary boy, Richard. Very scary. I'll tell you what, have a Power Stone. And you, I'm getting hmm, shark bait. You're never going to get in melee combat, really. Let's go training. That seems like a better option. And Penny, that's right. In, invocation of, of the heck. I mean, summoning in deck hand mob is quite useful, but that's more useful. We've already got someone replenishing, so that's fine. Uh, Sig, for, I'm assuming you have more settlements over here, but how many do you have? That's the question. Where are you, you stupid bastard? What? So you've got two settlements left. Avert your eyes, grotesquerie. Shut I up. Forbid you to rude. Very rude. Right, if we can maybe take out another one of his. Who is he? Now, that's that's the other question. Who's he at war with? I just want to just Can I just <sighs> Right, where are you, stupid bastards? You're down here, stop. Uh, nope. Nope, there you are. You dare. Just me and Nagarond. Right. That makes it slightly more awkward. But if we're murdering Sigfall, I mean, you know, you need your fortresses, don't you? So maybe if we can come down here, smash this, and then knock out your other fortress. I mean, one, it's going to give us big money prizes. And I do love 
big money prizes. Oh, do we want to upgrade the Rizidors? I reckon we do. Let's do that. Let's upgrade Carol Carr as well. And I was going to build defenses here, wasn't I? Let's do that. God, honestly, it's, it's true what they say about uh, about increasing your income, doesn't it? Your expenses just uh, rise to meet it. Never mind. I would like a whip staff. Okay. Daisy. Now, where... Mm, could... Can we see... Ice Tooth Mountain is making a lot of money, is it? I mean, it's, it's making some money. I guess putting... Have we uncovered Nagarond yet? I mean, that is making quite a lot of money. Right, Daisy, I've, I've, I've got your next target, Daisy. You come over here. Torren Rock is not making as much money as I thought it did. Arnheim isn't great either. So if you come up to here... If you, if you, if you come over here, you come over here. Come over here, and then we can put one in Nagarond, and that's making some money. And that will ups it, it. It will. It will upset him a little bit. But I'm going to be honest; he's already a little bit upset, so it's not really going to make my life much more difficult, is it? <laughs> exactly. I, the rotting Promethean gunnery mob is very good. Do we want to upgrade this then? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna have to crawl through the chaos wastes. Thankfully, it's not very difficult with Celestra. She's a good faction to do it. My Gorst campaign, of course. The problem with vampires is that the way you you don't take attrition is raiding because they have no encampment stance. So if you don't want to take attrition, you raid. If you want to replenish, you have to go into your magic stance. But the magic stance doesn't stop attrition, and the raiding stance doesn't give you replenishment. So if you want to replenish in enemy territory, you can't. More campaign movement range. Yes, please. We're going to crawl our way through the chaos wastes. And we're going to murder Sigfold because he's a dick. Do we... More defenses seem sensible. This guy... Oh, well, it's getting better. It could be worse. I don't know why my voice is so high-pitched at the moment. Just just happened. Just happened and I can't bring it back down now. Land folk are weak. Never mind. You're not doing anything. So you know what? You know what? Just come down here and we'll, we'll hoover up some of these bits and pieces. Because it'll be good training for you. And also, I've upgraded Violet to Fleet Secretary. Means we get upkeep reduction for all of our armies, which is uh, really quite nice. Daisy can. I mean, a specialist is fine, but to be honest, I'm probably going to eventually put you in an army. So let's give you Spirit Leech. Wave treading. But yeah, but, I mean, I'm I'm glad. I, I, do I do I say it? I'm glad that the High Elves haven't declared war on me yet. Is that going to come back to bite me in the ass? Maybe. Pirate Cove income is currently 3k. Nice. Very nice. Oh no, they raised it. It's Sigfold as well. The big bastard. You know what? I'm just going to ignore that. I don't even care. He's just ignored. He's just got, nope, I'm just going to. I'm going to pretend I'm not here. We're going to fucking murder your fortress, Sigfold. And I'm going to build that one. Oh, he was ambushing. He was trying to ambush. I say trying. What we got here? Uh, mushroom stew. Money? I like money. 
Okay, we come down and grab that one as well. That'll be good. I'm not going to bother building that. How much money are we making up from our settlements, actually? Fucking hell, we're, we're making so little. Eight, seven, and eight. That's nothing. That's awful. That's so bad. We're making... I'm, I'm making more money from my... I'm making double the... In, what is it? Like, double the income from my pirate codes than I am? Well, I guess it's... That's a... It's not quite... It's not quite half the amount. But I'm making almost double from my Picaroon Tideouts than I am from the rest of my settlements. Oh, well, those guys are dead. That could be a problem. For oh, hello. This could be a problem for us. The crew are restless. Denied. Where are you going? Admiral of the fleet. Now, we do have defenses in all the right places. Still. Setting sail. Let's scooch down here. I think they could potentially land. Can they land a black light tower? I don't know. They should act now. I'm going to just ambush stance here. And we're going to... I, I might have to just go all the way... His last settlement's up there. It's pretty close. We could just go there. Destroy that. At that point, Sigvald has basically nothing. He has his armies. But unless he can capture another fortress... Um, he's going to be recruiting shit. I'm tempted to maybe get one of these guys. Charge bonus is meh. Weapon strength and physical resistance is okay. Uh, that's kind of meh. Well, the chance of stealing a magic item is okay. I think this guy's probably the best because weapon strength and physical resistance. So, we'll research him. It'll cost us some, uh, the infamy, but to be honest, we're not ready to take on Reich Admiral Halhoff anyway. So, probably, probably not worth worrying about that. And it'll give us, uh, another, another lad, which is probably good. Because uh, I feel like Sigvold's going to start losing his shit. Okay, the silver. T uh, we, we took out the fortress before. We can take it out again. Do we have anything? You know what? I'm going to build this. I'm going to build this. And I'm going to make sure all of my settlements have at least some defenses. I mean, the thing is, if if we do lose a settlement, do I actually care? Because, like, a minor settlement actually gives me nothing. It literally gives me nothing. Okay, let's crawl over here. It says Valiant Defeat. Is this less than what they had last time or the same? Can't remember. Oh, we've done it once. We can do it again. This one's going to be slightly more difficult because uh, the Slash Towers are actually stronger for some reason. I don't know why the Slash Towers... It might be that Slash in general is going to be worse at sieges, so maybe they thought that they should have good towers or something. I don't know. I don't know. What, is that like a sword they've got there? It's just a big spiky... Oh, it does look like a big spiky sword. It could be a big spiky dildo. I don't know. It's Slash. Okay, for some reason, the Mongols got through the gate um, into the, well, the, the Halbards, which obviously not a good, not a great position for them to be in, to be honest. And I can't heal them because they're, they're on the other side of the wall. And the gate's closed, I think, is is the reason. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, um, so we've managed to take down the, the only tower that can shoot at us, because this tower over here can only shoot sort of like that angle. Which means that it can't actually shoot at us. Which means I don't have to worry about it. Ooh. A good hit there. Taking out a big chunk of those Chaos Warriors. Who are already trying to dodge bullets. Okay. We've managed to get the Mongols. Well, the surviving Mongols. Out. Out of the city. S sort of. In a, in a way. Oh, fuck no. I thought they, I thought they'd fix the gate bug. 
I thought they'd fix the gate bug. Apparently not. Okay, Slosh was hitting them with magic, trying to help the, the Mongol. We, it looks like we might lose the Mongols again. Um, not quite as badly this time. There's still four of them alive, in a, in a, in a manner of speaking. Hey, it's better than last time. Well, we, oh, we, we had one. So this is slightly better. All right, we need to clear off these walls, because if they're up there, we can't do our trick of getting the handguns up here. That's a problem. All right, Richard is already through. Richard's an absolute boss. He'll be murdering these Chaos Trolls left, right, and center as soon as he realizes they're there. Richard, do you want to do anything about that? No? Nope, there we go. No, see? One hit, one kill. Okay, Slosh is taking a lot of missile fire there, but she seems to be weathering it fairly well. I mean, she does, she does have 15% physical resistance, 10% missile resistance. And uh, I thought she had some wall save as well, but apparently not. That's fine. Don't need wall save. The Halbards could be nasty, but the Depth Guard are there to help out. And it does look like the Chaos Warriors are abandoning the wall, which means we can now do our trick of sending our lads up there. And then using that as a vantage point to basically murder everyone in range. How you doing there, Richard? You've got eight kills, nine kills, 14 kills. That's pretty good. And Slosher there with the 59 kills. Very good. Oh, that's another, another Chaos Warrior that should have stayed away from Shellfish. Still, Sebastian loves a snack. Let's be look at all these lads lining up for a fight. Of course, what we do have now, which is quite useful, is uh, Penny, who can heal up our lads. Invocation of the heck out there. Which means Solostra can get healed up. And these Chaos Warriors have got fuck all chance of actually taking us out. So while they're concentrating on Solostra, the Depth Guard are carving their way through them. Particularly because they've got the Avasti there, which is going to give them more base and weapon damage. And also they've got damage resistance. That's a special ability. So they're basically immune to most things. Although they did just take a lot of damage from Solostra getting them, getting them wet. Summon our damned questing knights to mop up the survivors. And the handguns are now clambering up onto the wall there. We just need to create a little cordon. Get the rest of our boys in. And then we can mop up these jerks. Uh, the Depth Guard are not super happy. But they've got Invocation of the Heck on them, so they are healing up. Not to mention they heal up all the time in combat anyway, because they've got the... Uh, the, the what you, no, that one. Because they have the, the hunger, that's it. So they get 10% of their hit points per second while they're in melee combat, which is quite nice. Oh, down go the Rotting Prometheans. Still, I think we've done it. And now our gunners are moving up onto the wall. Oh, Sigvold, you are losing... You're, you're going to lose this fortress. You've already lost one. This is your seconds. Then we just need to, uh, to finish off. I mean, I'd much prefer to be sailing the Seven Seas than wandering around the Chaos Waste, but... Needs must. He forced my hand. Oh, claw. Oh, now we've got some sniper shots coming in from above. Just whittling away at these these fleeing units. Nicely done. All right, so we've cleared out the entrance, which means we can now move our lads up. And uh, should they try to move any units into position, then uh, they're about to get picked off by our handguns. Yeah, so these broad horsemen moved in 
into range. They will return fire a little bit, but I'm not overly worried about that. But as you can see, they, they take so much more damage from us than we do from them. But while we have kind of like taken down... I mean, we, we've killed over half the garrison, but they still have a few units hanging around. Uh, some marauders there. Some marauders there. Got a few units hanging around back here. So, I mean, it's, it's mostly marauders. They do have a unit of chaos, of uh, chaos trolls, armored chaos trolls. Ooh, just just nicks that unit, but does enough damage to uh, to cause it some real pain. Not to mention the handguns now, just gunning them down from above. Where are you going, guys? Oh dear. That, that was unfortunate. Richard is mopping up the Marauders over here with great weapons. Helped out by the fact they've surrounded him and are now getting shot in the back. And that's just whittling down the garrison even more. And I'll be honest, at this point, it was basically a case of uh, sending Richard to go and murder each individual unit until the entire garrison just fled the battlefield. It was fine. Okay. Oh, I could establish a pirate cove here. But... But frankly, killing this giant bastard is just more of a priority for me. All hands ahoy. Is, so what's the difference there? So that's 25, 25, 8... Slightly more leadership, duration 20 seconds, so it's slightly longer duration, cooldown is longer? For 6 extra seconds duration, I don't think another 30 seconds cooldown is actually worth it, considering all it does is gives another... So actually, I don't... <laughs> I don't think this is worth it. I don't think the upgrade's actually as good as the previous one. <laughs> ah, that's great. Amazing. Good job. Ah, uh, fine. Good job. Slap in the back. Not that we're sacking settlements. We're raising them at the moment, but that's fine. We'll go with that anyway. And the Silver Tower of Sorcerers lays dead ahead. I wonder if Sigvold's feeling a little bit... Uh... Nope, he's still, he's still a grumpy boy. Oh, he's retaken... He's retaken the frozen city. But it'll be level one. So we can destroy this and then come back and kill Sigvald on the way. But that's going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.